can't really skip breakfast because it literally means break a fast and it's, it's, it, it doesn't have to be in the morning right after wake up. The breakfast aspect of it is that uh, it's, it's something that you break your fast, it's something that you consume the first time during the day and it can be whatever it is, but it is like, it is indeed what the most important meal of the day because it's literally going to determine what metabolic state your, your body is going to be for the rest of the day and uh, what effects it has. It looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. This is an example of uh, why it's not a good idea to eat breakfast right after waking up to, to because uh, your body follows these different uh, circadian rhythms which have these biological uh, fluctuations throughout the day that, uh, that are connected to the environment, to the life cycles, your metabolism and things like that. So cortisol is a stress hormone that uh, is supposed to wake you up in the morning. It starts to rise at around dawn, maybe like 5 a.m. or something and it's gonna reach its peak at something on 9 a.m. or something. And uh, this kind of elevates stress hormones in the body, and uh, it's basically going to release insulin as well to some degree in some situations. So, you don't really want to be eating a lot of uh, foods, you don't want to be putting stuff into your body with uh, elevated insulin because it's going to make you more prone to storing the food as fat, and uh, it also has like other, it may potentially have some other negative side effects on your health. And, uh, the general the cortisol is going to start lowering throughout the entire day. It peaks at morning and uh, at noon it's quite low and during the night it's supposed to be quite low so that you could you know, fall asleep with uh, two high levels of cortisol. If your brain is wired up then it won't allow your brain to go into this, this deeper stages of sleep. So that's a huge problem. Especially like uh, if, we, if we get misaligned with our circadian rhythms with the technology it was going to looking at your smartphone in the evening is basically gonna you know elevate cortisol elevate or suppress melatonin as well and that's gonna lead to poor sleep and then one study actually also found that hunger signaling tends to follow these uh, circadian rhythms as well based on based on this um, the individuals and also like the human body and they found that usually hunger peaks at about 8, p 8 a.m. and uh, 8 p.m. as well, and or it's, it, it fluctuates throughout the day. Most people tend to register that they're hungry only at specific times of the day, and uh, usually it has to do with also like uh, the their habits as well. Like they, when, whenever they have become used to eating breakfast all the time, then their body is simply expecting it, and uh, it's, it's it can be it, with with these, with these biohacks, with these different new habits, you can kind of change your hunger signaling and pattern is Because th if you think about it, then uh, you do get hungry only based on a specific time of the day, based on your past habits and your lifestyle. So that's very conditioned aspect of people. Simply, they're not really hungry. They're simply used to having that food. You ate breakfast, yes? If you want access to the rest of the biohacking bootcamp videos then join my patreon account start pledging for it and you will also get access to like monthly q a sessions in the future so definitely it's well worth it and it can help you to support us the show and uh, keep it going